Welcome to Indie Resources fifth video on how to build a browser-based MMO version 2.0. Um, in this video, we're working on the map system, but originally I made a, I started to make videos as I was building the map system, and realized they were lengthy. It was there was a lot of P, going back and forth from PHP to JavaScript and typing, and it, to me it just made more sense for me to kind of build it and then walk through how I built it. It would it just was a lot. Of, it's it's going to be a lot easier this way, and I think you're going to understand it better this way. So as you can see, it's done, and we have our center here, and it goes through our rows and our columns, and this is all being pulled from the database right now. And as you can see, I went ahead and console logged out. All these are objects with creatures, harvest number, hunting number, and I'll explain all these in a minute. Um, it has the zone, everything like that, all being sent out to the browser. So to explain kind of the mapping system and how I want to build it, <clears throat> um, each each one of these sections is a travelable location. Currently in the map, there's 2,500 locations, but you can go on up to 10, 20,000 locations per map. You don't really need to because we're going to have zones, um, which will each have its own as well. So you can do like dungeons, you can do different planets, you can do all kinds of stuff. But the, the key behind this, and this is only starts here, it can grow way beyond this, is each, each location, each one of these, has a different number for, and right now I just have the, the kind of the creature, let's say spawn rate, we can change the name, it doesn't really matter, because it's all on back end stuff, and the front end is where you're going to change it anyway. So then we have harvest, that's for harvesting um, different plants and things for crafting, hunting, so you can of course get food, leather, or whatever, um, lumber for wood, um, and then the map C and the map R, so this is map, so this is our rows and our columns, and it's basically how the map works and how we're going to be able to put locations. The players may, don't necessarily need to see this. We can put it on there, but it, eventually this is going to be all grass or trees or whatever. This world is going to be an ever-growing world to where every day, all the time, it's growing. So if you if players lumber this area a whole lot, the lumber is going to go down, which is this number right here. And the worse it is, the worse it, the harder it's going to be to lumber. As well as we're going to make picks to find based off of that. So if we have, let's say we have something that has a very low water and a very low lumber, it's going to change to a desert scene. So it's it's all going to be based off of how players utilize each area. Um, scrap, scrap, you know, could be futuristic and it could be uh, medieval or fantasy because the more players that die there, you can make the scrap go up to a bigger chance they could find, you know, things like that. So we also have our um, water, which is like for fishing, mining, of course, for uh, anything for our um, uh, rocks and things for stone metals and then of course the zone we're gonna have multiple zones that we're gonna be able to go into so we have each of that <clears throat> so to explain real quick how I built this the first thing I did was I built this a map builder um, and if you go into your source you can now download the source and you open up map.js first you're gonna see I have a map designer I have a git map and then, of course, the old build map um, that we had, but I did make some changes. So let's talk about the map designer first. And eventually, this map designer is going to be an admin panel where you can build your own maps. If you open up the index.html, you'll see the map designer. I've closed it off because I don't want to build anymore. But basically, all you do is you you call map designer. You, you say how big you want it. So 50 by 50. That's 50 rows, 50 columns, which is 2,500. Um, and then our the name of the name of the um, the zone which I just named Shady Bale. You can name it whatever you want. It goes into the database, so whatever you pass. So, of course, you're asking, well, how do I get all this started? First thing we have to do right now is go to your database, and I'm going to go ahead. I, I wanted to kind of show what this looks like in the database, but we're going to go ahead and delete it out of here so we can kind of start over so you guys can get a start. So first thing, do download the source, get it get it in there, go to your database. Um, I'm going to, oh crap, I was, I was out a little too long, so I'm just going to log back in. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to, I went ahead and dropped that test. You can go ahead and hit this drop button to, to drop it, but I'm going to empty my, my maps. And I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside. So structure. So here's what you need to do. You need to build a new table, and you need to have map R, just the way I have it. It's lowercase with uppercase R, same way with the map C. A zone. Harvest, lumber, scrap, water, hunting, creatures, and mining. I will um, export this, and you can just import it. All you have to do is go up here to import, 
you choose the file, choose the SQL file that's in the source, and just import it right in, and you're done. So really, you don't even have to, to do what I'm showing here. Whoops. Um, but in case you want to build it yourself, everything is, these two are ints, fives, these are all threes, and this is a var care 21. So simple as that, but you can import it if you want. Um, I'm not going to go through a whole lot of my SQL here, um, just because it, that's tutorials you can do elsewhere. It's pretty simple if you just follow along. I would make these two indexes though, because that way it runs faster, make them um, the primary indexes, which I already have. If you just import it, you're fine. So once you get that imported, now we can kind of start putting stuff in here with it. So let's let's go back to our index, and we're going to turn off git map, and we're going to turn on those two slashes basically common it out where it doesn't run. So I'm going to pass 50 by 50. You're welcome to pass whatever you want. Just be careful passing a whole lot in the beginning just because we're going to be working with a lot of stuff, and you kind of want to be on the same boat. But I have I know in Forsaken Sanctum I had like 20,000 uh, maps built this or 20,000 locations built this way and it ran just fine because you're only you're really only pulling uh, 25 at a time and then I was only pulling nine at a time so it was pretty fast but I wouldn't recommend it just because then it becomes way too big and your players get lost we had a lot of problems with that it's better to go off by zones have have you a couple 2500 thing zones anyway so go ahead and uncomment that go to your local host hit refresh and you should see, unless it broke, you should see, there it goes, 2,500 locations created. Hit your F12 to bring this up. Like I said, eventually this will be in as a button you push, and you'll be able to pick, what I'm thinking is, is we put like desert, um, forest, and it actually builds those, builds those like lumber and water based off of what you select there. And that'll eventually be in the admin. For now, we're just building this thing starting off. So at least now you have kind of a, a creator they can kind of build this stuff. Um, eventually, also, we will move to where each zone is a table. But for now, this is we're going to go this route, and then we'll, we'll worry about switching later. It'll be an easy switch. So anyway, once you see this 2,500 locations created, you can go back to your database. You can go to Browse, and you'll see you have all your locations here. And these are all random. So let me show you how this was built real quick. Uh, we go to our, actually we need to open it up, it is called Map Designer, and it's in the scripts PHP. And so if you go back to your map.js, you'll see this Map Designer, it, well, this is where we pass the 50, the 50, and the zone name. It's going to make a call to mapdesigner.php, and it's just going to pass those values, is all it's doing. And then it's going to log whatever comes back. That's really all JavaScript is doing. So in your index, you make the call here which is actually this function inside of here. This calls this map designer script, that's PHP. It basically does the, creates the database instance. It does a post value. So what it does is it just sends, sends over those values in this post right here and we're grabbing them. So we grab those three that we sent and turning them into PHP variables. One thing you gotta remember is PHP variables have the dollar sign in front of them. Um, also set a counter just so I can say how many was returned so here's what I do. I have a for loop inside of a for loop. I know you're going to scream about it, but this thing's only used very, very minimal. Um, you only use it every time you build a zone, so it's not a big deal. Here's where I do some some randoms. You can come through here and change these if you want. The way the the world is going to build, though, that 100 is the best. Um, once you get 100, it's something. Everything stops growing. The higher number it gets, the slower it grows. The lower, the kind of the faster it'll grow. Depending on, I mean, we'll make we'll make some changes, but that's kind of the idea right now. I want ba everything base level 40, and then just a random of 40. So it can go up to 80. It could be just 40. That's just kind of where I left it for for this world. This is kind of a green world. Um, we do a call to the database, and we just insert into maps, and we just insert everything that we gathered here. Create the counter. Here, if there's an error, it will return the error. If it's not, it'll return how many locations. Simple as that. It's something you can kind of look over and see how it works, but it is pretty simple on a, as far as a map builder. So that's basically how the map builder works. We got our map built. Now if we go back to our index.php, be careful not to run it twice, otherwise you're going to have 5,000 and you're going to have the same zone. It's going to be all messed up. You just just empty your, your database. If you screw up, just, just go to your... Um, just click over here on your database and hit empty. Don't drop it, just empty. If you really mess up, you can drop it and just re-import that file. Um, let me make sure I save that before I left. Yep, so we're saved. We're good. So now we're just going to pull the map. This is done. So now once we pull it, we're at 1010. 10. Now, 
how are we at 1010? This is where I'm going to show you. Um, so on git map, if we go to our map.js, it's now calling git map. I've just put in static numbers. Eventually this is going to be pulled in by the player location, but of course we don't have players made yet, so I'm just putting in static things there. We're in zone Shadyvale, we're at 10, we're at 10. Um, all this is is another Ajax call to the git map PHP script, and it's passing the data. All it's doing is passing the player location over. Um, when it's done, it passes data to build map, the, the data that's returned. So first let's look at gitmap.php. What this does, same thing, creates database, uh, connection grabs those post variables. What I'm doing here is is that since we're since we're using 25, a five by five grid, we're always two up and two below, two to the left, two to the right. So if we just create a minimum, a maximum on both of them, minus and plus two, that way we don't have to pull the whole database. We're only pulling the 25 slots that we need. So it basically it's select all for maps where zone equals the, the player zone. Map R is greater than equal to the map R min. The map R is less than greater less than equal to the map R max and so forth and that's how it pulls just those 25 if there's an error it'll put it out here if not it'll send over the rows everything it finds all 25 come back to map.js that returns it here pulls it into the build map um, I'm just console logging it right now so I can look at it um, this is this all the stuff is the same we had before except for the only thing I added was now we're gonna <clears throat> since we're looping through 25 already this data right here is a array of objects and when you look down here you can see it's an array of objects so since i already equals 0 through 25 we can go ahead and just call data and then the array index so but think of array as a collection and to get to each collection is a number so 0 is the first one 1 is the second one 2 is the second i mean 2 is technically the third one so on that's how we call it, and that's how we get the numbers from each one. So each, so zero is here, one is here, two is here, three is here, and so forth, and it goes all the way through. Um, so our your rows and your columns works out pretty much perfect. Um, so now that that's out of the way, let's go back here. So all I'm doing here is is in between the grid, I'm just putting R, the name of the, and then C, and then C, it's data I, the index, and then the map C. I'm calling the property of that object is all I'm doing, both places. Eventually, this is going to, what we're going to do next is we're going to create a picture for depending on what the, the element of, of all the, everything in this object is, and we're just going to image out a picture there that's the same size as that, and it'll be a nice little map. Then we can actually put it on click to where we can walk around and so forth. So I hope I didn't confuse anybody. It's real simple. Like it, I'm hoping that you can see now why I didn't try to write all this stuff out and versus just write it out first and then explain it. It's much easier than trying to go through it. It was a lot faster. Um, so it's pretty cool. We're getting pretty far. We got, we got our map design. The next thing, we're going to put images here, make it on click, and then our map will pretty much be done, to where, and that'll be probably one video um, to where we can move on to some other really cool stuff.